What you guys, how do we integrate your PC drivers to Windows 11 ISO? You can use Windows 10 as well if you want to, but in this one, we're going to be using Windows 11. So we're going to need to download some software. First off, we're going to need to download the Windows 11 ISO from Microsoft. And then what we're going to do is get all of our drivers for our PC and integrate or slipstream them into this ISO. Now, the other day, I made a video showing you how to add all your applications to an ISO. So this one is how to add all your drivers to an ISO. Now, this is not really necessary in 2022, but some people still like to integrate drivers into their Windows ISO installation media. So you can see here we have a 7-zip. We're going to need this to unpack the uh, zip file so you can download and install this on your system. And of course, we're going to need the actual software to do this. Now, there's quite a few ways of going about doing this, but we're going to be using the MSMG toolkit. You've seen me use this before. So this is for IT professionals. We're going to be using this. So first off, go to the download section and download uh, this pack. You can see it here. This is the very latest one. And we're going to download this. And then once we've got this, we can have all of these onto our system. I'll put them into a project folder and we can go from there. So let's go ahead and get this all into a project folder and we can then uh, continue with the tutorial. So now I have my toolkit inside here and I also have my Windows 11 ISO. I've already installed 7-zip on the system and what we're going to need to do here is we need to unpack this. So you can see I've just created a folder on the desktop called Project and basically I'm just going to right click, go to 7-zip here and we're going to extract all of the files here just like so, and this will extract all the files. Now from here, we need to now put our ISO file into the ISO folder. So all I need to do is go down to where my ISO is, and here it is right here. I'm gonna quickly cut and paste this into the ISO folder, and I might even uh, change that file name because it is quite long, and I want something a little bit more easier to uh, remember. So I'm going to just call this Win11. So let me just go ahead and rename, and we're just going to remove a lot of this blurb here and make this Win11. There we go. So now we've got our RISO inside here and we've got everything ready to go. What we need to do here now is get our drivers, and the drivers will be going into the drivers folder right here. Inside here, there's an install folder. So go in here, choose the operating system that you're using, Windows 11. And then we can choose uh, ARM64 or X64. We're using X64, which is 64-bit operating system. So we're going to be putting all of our drivers into this location. Like I said, you can use this method for other versions of Windows, whether it be Windows 10 and Windows 7 and Windows 8, as you can see there. So first off, let's go back to the main directory, which is our project folder. And what we're going to do is we're going to fire up a command prompt and we're going to copy all of our drivers from this computer to this location here. Pretty straightforward stuff. So let's go ahead and I'll show you the command that you're going to need to use to copy this in. So click on the folder and copy this path here. This is the path where we're going to be putting our drivers. Now, this is the second part of the command. So I've already got the first part here for you, which is DISM space forward slash online space forward slash export dash driver. Uh, space forward slash destination colon and that path that we just copied put it in here and basically you are now ready to go to copy all of your drivers from your system into that location so this type cmd and run the command prompt as administrator this will open up a little command prompt box here and once this is done we can now paste in our command so let me go ahead and quickly remove that background and we can paste in our command here and push enter. When we push enter, you'll see a bunch of text coming up on the screen. This is just copying all of our uh, drivers on this system and putting them into our designated folder. Now you'll notice that these are not .exe files, these are INF files. So that's now copied these over for us, as you can see here, and uh, the operation has been completed successfully. And if you look inside here, these are all your drivers for the system here. If you go inside and we can take a look at the drivers here. So if we click on any one of these, you'll see that they are .inf uh, files, .sys and .cat. 
right here. You can't download the executable file and drop them in here. It's not going to work. They need to be INF files as far as I know. Okay, so let's now crack on with the integration process. So what we need to do here now is right click on the start uh, batch file here and run this as administrator here. Say yes to the user account control and this will open up a blue uh, prompt box. This is the EULA. We need to read this and you can accept their terms conditions. Basically, all we need to do here is type A to accept and this will give us access to the program and we can then start to integrate our actual um, integration of our drivers here. So let's go ahead and accept these. Now I'll highlight the screen so you can see what I'm actually clicking on because you can't actually see uh, the letters that I click on. So I'll quickly highlight them before I continue. So I'm just going to push enter key to continue here, but I'll highlight the uh, ones that I'm going to actually be typing here. So for instance, I'll be typing source here uh, so it'll be number one, but I'll highlight it to show you this is the one I used. So number one, push one in. And then what we need to do here is we need to select number three, and this is to extract the source from a DVD or ISO image. So type number three. Now you need to enter the ISO image file name without the dot ISO. Now else was called uh, Win11 because I renamed it. This is the reason why I renamed it, to make it easier. So just leave that as is. Whatever you've renamed yours, you can put it in there. Push enter, and it will start to extract that DVD ISO image contents and put them into a designated folder called DVD folder. And I'll quickly uh, show you in a second that folder. But now we need to type 1, which is the source again. And now it's going to read that extracted ISO file from a DVD folder, which is select source from a DVD folder, which is number one. This is the ISO file that we extracted. So if we look in DVD folder now, you'll see this is the contents of that ISO that we just extracted here. OK, so let's go back. And what we can now do is type one to select the source from the DVD folder, which is this one right here. So just put one in the box. And away she goes. So now we're going to select this image. It's going to load it up. Now you can choose uh, which uh, image you want to use here. So I'm going to be using number six here, which is for Windows 11 Pro, because that's the uh, operating system that I'm using. So now we need to type in number six here, and this will give us uh, the Windows 11 Pro. So type number six for me. And now we need to go yes here. So Y for yes. I'll highlight it so you can see. So put Y for yes, and then Y for yes again, and going to push Y here. There we go. And this will then take a bit of time. I'll speed this process up here, but it takes a bit of time to do all of this. So be patient. Push any key to enter for the next screen. So let's go ahead and push enter or any key here on the keyboard. Now from here, what we need to do is move on to the next selection, which is going to be integrate. So number two, we're going to integrate our drivers here. So go number two. And we want to integrate drivers. So number two again. So we're going to integrate Windows drivers. Once we've done this, we now need to tell it what else we want to do here. So number two again, integrate to Windows installation image. So number two. And again, this is going to deploy the image servicing management tool so we just need to let that do its thing and you can see it integrating all of those drivers it does take a bit of time so be patient and once that's done you should see finished integrating windows drivers to windows installation image we can now press any key on the keyboard to go to the next screen now what we need to do here is move on to the next part which is going back so we need to push x to go back uh, to the main menu so i'm going to go back and I'm going to go back again by pushing X. And this will take us back to the main menu. And from here, we need to now go to apply. So we're going to apply this now. So go number five and apply this. And what we want to do is number two here, apply and save changes to the source image. That's because we've now integrated and we want to save our work that we just done. So do you want to trim unselected image additions? I'm going to say yes here because we only want wind Windows 11 Pro. I'm going to also clean up that image by saying Y for yes. 
and it's now going to clean up, clean up that image folder and clean the temporary and log files and folders in there. And it's going to apply our changes for us. This does take a bit of time, but I'll speed this process up. So you can see it applying changes and unmounting uh, the image and it will then finish off and we can push any key to get to the main menu. And now we need to type six to go to a target here because we need to create our ISO. So number one, make your DVD ISO image. Now we've done all of our saves. We're going to now create our new image, give it a volume name and a volume label. So we're just going to give this, say, win 11 drivers, something like this. And this will be done. And again, file name, I'm going to give this a file name. You don't have to put the dot ISO on the end. So I'm just going to go win 11 drivers again. That will do just so we know that this one has the drivers inside of it. So once we've done this, push enter, and this will then go ahead and start to write all of the files and directories to our new ISO image. And it should say, finish building your DVD ISO image, just like so. Push any key on the keyboard to enter to the main menu. And that is it. We've now created our new ISO image with all our drivers integrated into it. And we can close this off and exit out now, and it will just go ahead and clean up all of the log files and everything else that was left behind. And if we go to our ISO folder here, you should see two ISO images. One we started off with, which is Win11, and the other one, which is called Win11 Drivers. And there you go. That's how you can create a Windows 11 ISO with all your drivers integrated. And you can use this method for Windows 10 and Windows 11 if you wish. And you can also do this in PowerShell and a bunch of other methods to integrate drivers and other things as well. If you wish, if you want to see those videos, let me know in a comment section below. I'll be happy to make those videos for you. Anyway, that is going to be about it for this video. That is how we can integrate all of our drivers into our Windows ISO files. Now, I do a lot of my work inside virtual machines, and that is because I can then have a clean virtual machine and I'm not working on my main system. And that way I can do tutorials just like you see like this and it makes it a lot more easier to do. Now, all you need to do now is use your ISO and create a bootable USB flash drive with your ISO, and away you go. And you can then install that onto your system and have all your drivers uh, pre-installed onto that system. Anyway, my name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Hope this video has been some sort of use to you. Just want to say a quick shout out to all my YouTube members who join my YouTube members group. I really do appreciate the support, and I shall catch you in the very next video or I'll see you on our Discord server. Thanks again. Bye for now.